round is Deuce Myatt. And we have our top eight feature match for you right now. We have Trey Fairball from the left with uh, Zodiac Two Dragos versus a uh, longtime competitor, but kind of a no show this season, uh, Zadim. Playing Pure Zoo with, uh, I think, two Yammy Seal. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Zod's deck is like really built for like the Pyramir. Um, but he's going first, so I don't think it's going to matter too much. But um, Zod, you can already see in his opening hand, like Shuffle Reborn and all those cards. Um, I think Barrage might have been the only Zoo card he had in his hand. So if. I think Trey's only out for his two copies of Ash. But. But their list seemed pretty standard. Um, only notable thing, Trey, um, unlike a lot of other people in this top gut, is maining three dimensional barrier, which is really good. Um, Azad is maining two combo. Um, so that's probably getting pitched off Thoroughblade. Thoroughblade's been doing a lot of work this, uh, like this event. Definitely. Oh, there's one of those two combos. Yeah. Like, there, were, there was one game, I forget who it was, but, like, they don't have Thoroughblade. Like, they had all the monsters in hand, and, mm -hmm. like, Barrage. They don't have Thoroughblade. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. I, I guess you could just draw Maxi off of Thoroughblade. Apparently. They pitched, drew Ash Blossom, and then they pitched again with a second Thoroughblade and drew Ragaki. And it's like, oh, yes. I like Trey's hand, though, yeah, going Trey's, second. Trey's pretty well secured, I feel like, unless Azad... Well, Trey has, like, Barrier, Ignis, Trap, yeah. so I like that already. So he can kind of just slow roll this. Um, only thing is, Azad has um, Ash for the for the Ignis. I, it was either Ignis or Dynamite in his hand. I couldn't tell which I one it was. Either. It definitely wasn't a Zoo card, though. Yeah. And then I saw, like, a Terraforming, too. But I don't think the, the diagram is going to matter too much because of Dryden. <coughs> yeah. Rakos in hand now. That's the only, the only thing about like tributing like a trap card for for any of the Draco cards. You um, you just like can't normal summon, and it's really like unfortunate. Yeah, it's a little awkward at times. Yeah, because you, you just like don't have a zoo, you technically don't have a real zoo push after that, unless you're using like one of the one of the spells to tribute. But Zod opened really good. Um, he's not gonna have like real trap cards, but he's gonna have Ash Maxi. And he still has desires, so that's gonna be insane. We're, we're definitely gonna see the power of this double combo here, where like he's gonna be able to reload his entire mm -hmm. extract essentially. Oh, he he desires already. No, no, he sent the second combo to yard. Oh, okay. So now he has both combos in the yard. Oh, he summoned the rat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me get guys the bracket behind chat. Support. Uh, mm -hmm. Misses. Okay. I like this play. He gets both combos in Grave. He has a Misses. Misses is like one of the best cards, like to me. So like, if Misses lives, it's it's almost like guaranteed you're killing him next turn because your Whiptails are like 17. Then your Whiptail reattaches and it's just like it's huge. Okay, so it doesn't make combat with masterpieces so much easier. I haven't been paying too much attention to Zod, Zod's play, but I don't think he's. I'm guessing he hasn't used Chalk Nine or he hasn't used he Tiger has Mortar. He's only used Barbul. Or he, no, wait, he had to have used Chalk So he hasn't used Tiger Mortar. Has he, did he use Chalk Oh wow, he must have did that real fast. I missed it. Oh, because yeah, Dryden's in the Dryden's in the. No, 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 because. Yeah, he he's gonna Tiger Mortar onto his Dryden. Yeah. Sure, but like, no, the Dryden just came from. Yeah. So he oh, he wait, yeah. yeah he Chalk to make the misses. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna end with Kong misses Dryden. That's really good. I forgot how links work. How so links work. um. <laughs> So I, so there's another play you could do with just barrage. You could either go for rank four Dryden, or you could go for this play. I think in pure zoo it's a lot better to go for this play, just because whenever you do the the just barrage play and you end with the rank four, the rank four ends in your extra monster zone, which means you're locked out of everything extra deck related. But with this, you end with Mrs. Kong Dryden. You've just you float so much, and you end with a bunch of zoo cards, which is what you want to do in pure zoo um, compared to like variants of zoo. Yeah, because he has the combo, he can actually end up like... So, Trey's going to try to slow roll against him, especially when he plays Maxi. But because of the misses, he's going to be able to reload the Maxi, and not care about not reloading something else, because he just has combo. Mm -hmm. Okay, I... That w those are good draws by Azad. So, yeah. like, Azad didn't have monsters. Whoa, he passed two Cosmics? Three Cosmics? Uh, that's a lot of spell <laughs> Especially for a pure Zoo deck. Uh, he matched... I mean, he imagined he Zeus, so that's good. But, like, he passed a lot of Cosmics from what I saw. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, Zod drawing into two monsters is really good because he didn't have any monsters before this. So he's probably going to get like. Oh, he got another Whiptail. That's interesting. But that would get like a Thoroughblade. I think it's a little bit heads up. So, like, if I'm, my, if I'm his opponent right now, right, and he gets Whiptail, I'm thinking he banishes the Whiptail off of the Desire, so he's getting, like, the other one while he can. And so, like, I'm not playing around double Whiptail. Oh, maybe. Unless he does something, like, super stupid that, like, doesn't make sense if he has double Whiptail. Um, so, yeah. So, Zod's hand is really good. Um, Zod's not setting any cards, because I think... Yeah, so the only trap card that Zod runs is Solemn Warning. Um, honestly, I probably would just set a card to bluff the warning. Oh, wait, no, no, he's playing against Draco. Never mind. So that, that card's just going to get blown up if it's not warning. Right, right. Um, so I trade you another barrier. Yeah, so that is, oh, so he has Ignis and Dino. Okay. I, I probably would just play th the terraforming first, knowing as on mains Ash. Oh, that's Ram Ram. Oh. oh. Okay, so this is going to make the maxi way well, better. Okay, this is weird. So, like, he's actually just not going to be able to summon the zoo monster this turn. Basically. Um, what he could do, though, is he could... Um, uh, I, think he's, I think he's being too aggressive. Yeah, this is So, not. he, he could have... Um, I don't think Azad would have messed up that bad, though. He, he could have seen what the, how far the diagram was going to resolve. Like... If it, if the diagram was gonna get ashed, then um, then Trey was probably gonna have to do this play, and then if the um, but if the diagram would have gotten dried and popped, then he could have summoned the zoo and just tried to play there. Um, obviously, would have gotten max seed, but that would have been unfortunate. But um, then Trey would have been sitting on two barriers with the Dryden, um, or he could have just made broad bulls or dealt with the Dryden in some other way. But he would have been sitting on two barriers, which would have been really good. Or he, he could even like set Ram Ram with the barrier, which is good too. Two thank you for me, or for the like, combo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I I don't I don't think this does enough. Yeah, this is not great. And that misses just gonna sit on the board too and just be super relevant. Like this play this play would be good if Azad didn't have Ash. Right. But like you uh, I mean he doesn't know that obviously, but Yeah. Eight but like you, you, you look at Azad's decklist. He's meaning to. Oh, he's meaning to Ash to three ogre. That's too many hand traps. Just not to. To me, diagrams just like a free. Whoa, apocalypse. That's, that's kind of weird. That's actually interesting. Uh, actually, so like. Hmm. Why apocalypse? I think that's the wrong one to grab here, because now his um, now his his knuckle isn't floating. Yeah, this is confusing now. Is this one of those Trey Faircloth jokes you were talking about? <laughs> okay, I... Whoa, whoa. Uh, this is wild. Wait, is this resolving? Okay, so now Trey's in a good spot because he has Barrier. Um, the Heritage sure. is going to get Ashed. Um, yeah, see, if he would have done this prior, then he would have known... Um, because, okay, so a lot of players actually just don't respect Diagram. So, like, there's, like, a joke, like, Diagram never resolves. But another joke is, like, I don't respect Diagram. So, they sometimes a lot of players just let Diagram resolve, and they just want to hit Ash with, um, they just want to Ash the Heritage. Like but now, um, Zod's basically going to skip this turn because of Barrier. Zod drew Barrier, or Gam Seal, though, that's really good. Um, I mean, he just gives you attacking with the misses. Mm, he's just gonna attack with misses and like whip tail, depending where um or trade barriers. That was some damage with me. Yeah. The effect. Another tanky. Oh yeah, second like tanky also, so that's good. Put a little more on board. It's not an entirely free turn for uh, Trey. I think th this gonna be a good game. Like. Yeah, Zod has like a ton of cards, but then again, Trey's playing the. I like. The, I like some Trey has here. two barriers, so he's gonna skip, skip his turn twice. Okay. 
So, I don't know if Azad's going to shock on the Trident here, or... Okay, good. So, yeah, I'd bury her right here. That's another thing Azad had to think about. He knows Trey means three barriers, so I don't know if I would have shock on the Trident. Um... Because he does have two whip tails, right? right? So he could have shock on the Dryden. Dryden tried and popped a diagram. Um, Trey would have barriered. And then Azad still has two whip tails to try and attach the Dryden next turn and nice. still deal with his board. So um, that could have been something Azad could have thought about. Um, and also, given the sequencing of Trey's plays last turn, I feel like you're you're looking at a guy who's. I feel like to you have turn. to play around barrier. Right. Like. It just would have put it would have put um, Azad in the best possible spot to me, especially with like misses. Yeah, it, he already has something putting pressure for damage on board. Um, and then next turn he just like if the Dryden lives he just summons Whiptail, and then just like kills him. <laughs> so okay, so this is gonna be oh this is gonna be a really good turn for Trey. Yeah, so. Trey now has Desires, Barrier, Zoo. Um, this is this can be really good. So Zod's probably thinking about maxing right here. Um, it's not like incorrect. Um, I think it's incorrect given the information we have, but not given the information he has. I, I don't think it's like incorrect at all. Uh, it's just it's just like he knows if he maxes. Trey might give himself the option just to sacrifice his zoo play in general and then cut off his zoos, um, which might be what Azad wants. He might want just want him to commit only to Draco cards since Azad does have a Gam Seal in his hand. So this sure. might be just good. Um, and then, but then you still go to the next turn and you realize Trey just still has Barrier. And I was gonna get two fresh cards. Um, I don't think Azad has another Ash. No. Okay, so he sees Ash and Ash. Whoa. <laughs> that's hey there. That's unfortunate. So he's he got Max Seed and drew into two Ashes after that. So he's going to diagram. He's probably going to pop one of the Ashes. Yeah. So I... Oh, this is going to suck. If Azad doesn't play around the second Ash now, I'm going to... No, I think... Tra it's going to suck because... Yeah, here it is. So Trey's going to commit to a Masterpiece... And then he's yeah, gonna get Gamsiel. blown out by Gam Seal next turn. He's gonna clear. He's gonna clear everything though, which is good. But well, I guess it's not the worst. He's gonna clear everything except barrier. So his his turn his his board next turn will be like Gam Seal diagram with Ash in hand. He can live with that. Let's pop a tanky. <laughs> Lose a hundred. Seems good. Bang bang. Probably pop the anything. Yeah, pop the Borbo. <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah, you want to get that battle damage in. What do you grab back here if you're aside with the uh, misses? Maxi. <laughs> like Azad. Okay. Azad is going to clear the Masterpiece, so he's he's not too worried. And I think he already has, like, a ton of zoos in hand. He has, like, two Whiptails. Oh, oh, right, yeah. He's yeah. Whiptails. That's what I... Okay, never mind. I'm yeah. Totally his whiptails. He just grabs back the Maxi, which which is going to be good for Trey, because Trey has an Ash. Um, well, Azad could think about this, too. So, um, Ash just doesn't hit a lot of cards in Azad's deck. So Azad could be thinking, oh, well, he destroyed an Ash with Diagram, so he's got to have another Ash right. for um, That's what for doing. my Maxi, right? But um, Especially when he only sets one here. But I'm probably still grabbing Maxi. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, Maybe so Azad's, Azad's going to Azad's gonna get the third Oh, I like blade. this, actually, because now he gets a single for a new card off of the extra uh, whip tail. So that isn't terrible. Okay, so set another barrier. So... Oh, ghost. Okay. Hello. So this game's over. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, so Azad has Ghost Ogre now for the diagram. Um, or the zoo push. Yeah, so this game, that Max C that Azad did, even though it got him no cards, was a really well placed Max C because it played into Azad's hand. So, which is basically what I said before. It, um, it makes Azad's kaiju better. Because he knew Trey would commit all the way into a masterpiece over giving him any cards off off um, Maxi, and then Trey just 
Those odds just put in a way better position now. Just be because now one. now he's cut off from Zeus, Trey is. Um, Probably discard a whip though here. Yeah, oh. he, he has to barrier. Discard whip. Draw. Sees another ghost ogre. Seems sweet. It's gonna have to take a turn here with the gamma seal, but I think Azad still has Shuffle Reborn too. Yeah, Shuffle Reborn. He has a second combo in yard. Mm -hmm. Oh, he he hasn't. Oh yeah, he wow. Him, yeah. Forgot he hasn't used another combo, so he's just been cycling all of his cards. Yeah, here is now actually. Yeah, Zod's just in too good of a position. Uh, there was no dice roll. We were playing uh, top seed, low seed. Zod was top seed. Mm -hmm. You banish all your barrages and you have to put back a barrage. <laughs> So, it's weird. I think, I think something that probably could have changed in Trey's line of play was definitely the the dynamite. I think it definitely should have grabbed um, return that one turn. And then that would have made... Oh, Trey's getting trigger happy. He's going to get Ghost Ogre here. Oh, this is good. Never mind. So, um, no matter what, Trey's zoo play is going to go through no matter what. Because as long as the as long as he makes Broad Bull first, like after this Hammer Kong, and he gets Ram Ram. Well, actually, he's going to have the choice to get Ram Ram no matter what. Because if Azad Ghost Ogres this, then he just gets Ram Ram and right. he keeps playing. Because he's just going to be able to diagram. But I also don't know if Trey banished one of his Ram Rams off of the Desires, which would be really unfortunate here, because that means the game will end. Um, well, one's already in the yard. Yeah, so Azaz just not taking that chance, and he did banish the Ram Ram. Oh. So <laughs> that would have been that would have been game. That would have been absolutely game. Um, but now Azad knows that he banished the Ram. So now from Trey, I am going to make Chalk and I bring back my Ram. Because I'm going to get Ghost Ogre to my Dryden. Or I'm going to get Ghost Ogre somewhere. I don't know what I would have done if I was Zod there. I, I might have Ghost Ogre the Broadwell just because he desired. But like, I guess you're just taking the biggest L ever if he actually still had the Ram in deck. I don't know. Just stuff to think about. Food for thought. <clears throat> Has Trey made a Dryden this game? I don't think so, right? No, but this is for a Zoopla. They wasn't just summoning Ram right. and getting node. Wait, did... Did his auto resolve combo last turn? Yeah, why? Trey had Ash. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he forgot that he can do that. Maybe he thought it had to be an activated trap card. I, I don't know. I, I don't think he... F I, that doesn't sound right. You got a football field here? <laughs> Man, I thought I, I, I was the only one that could make punning jokes. <laughs> I gotta do something all day. I gotta, I gotta think of some kind of puns. <laughs> I feel like that Yada Garasu on the mat is holding that ram ram he needed. Um, I feel like Azad should go over this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> hello. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, he's uh -oh. he's spiraling into the tilt. <laughs> no, I, th I think he's fine. Yeah. He's gonna have Dryden. Well, no, Azad has like two pushes next turn because he has shuffle and um. Yeah, I I don't see a way Azad loses this game. Oh, Trey runs Tornado Dragon. That's interesting. I like it. You're not comboing off as much as often, so. 
You're also not playing more than one rating, I feel like, in the most Draco Zoos. Get in there, Gamma Seal. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a way Azad loses this game. I think this is the game Azad needed to win too. Because Azad can just side out a lot of his dead cards, like my body and stuff like that. Um, so this is going to be really good for Azad just for the rest of the match. Okay, so yeah. First card Azad's going to play is Shuffle Reborn. So, right away, Trey already knows in the, he's in a bad spot. Um, so he's like, where are these Kaiju counters so I can negate? <laughs> Yeah, this game's basically over. <laughs> hmm. So... Okay. So, I don't know why Trey popped there. Now Trey's just going to get... I don't know if Trey dies or if he just gets, like, double dried in it. I'm pretty sure he just gets, like, double dried in it now. Um, I don't know if Trey mains board wipes. He might main Regeki. No, he doesn't. Um, no, he, si he sides all of his board wipes. Yeah, so now Azad just normal summons a regular zoo. And. Oh, that's Rat. Balls. That's a pretty good Rat. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he still has Rat in deck. Azad, I don't know. How many misses does he play? Does he play two? Probably. I, if I'm playing anything that isn't playing Draco. I'm no, he two. plays one. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's that huge. Pass wins list? I don't see sex right now. <laughs> was he playing over the second mistress? Is he playing like? I think he's playing a bunch of. Or? He's playing like a bunch of zoo XCs. He's playing oh, two he, Hammer Kong. Oh, he just like tripped out on a bunch of things. Yeah, I don't think he's playing any rank fours. That this uh, this all this all makes sense now. Oh yeah, he tripped out on a lot. Jeez. I probably would have squeezed in at least one rank four. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like cutting down the two tiger border for a second. For like a rank four or like uh Oh he's playing three tiger. That's, that's what I'm insane. saying, cutting down the zoo seems like better. That's wild. Well it's cause like every turn in order to it technically in order to make double dried in every turn you need another tiger mortar. Right. No, like, I don't you need that. as many tiger mortars as you need chocodines. So that's how you do the double dried and play every turn. So Oh, he's not getting double Dryden. I forgot Azad's resolved two combos and has probably put back a Dryden with one of them. Yeah. Er, yeah. That's also why I forgot about cutting the type third Tiger Mortar, because he's writing Name Mortar double combo. <coughs> he has less of an issue. But, put me wrong, show me how good Tiger Mortar is right now, Azad. Mm. Just get in there. So, Azad's probably going to whip tail the Ram. Um, and then just pop the Gam Seal with Dryden. He's going to have the Ram floating. I don't think the... I mean, the Ram floating is not going to matter too much since Trey does run board wipes. Um, but still neat. <laughs> yeah, so here's the whip tail. So, does Trey still have that Ash? I don't think so, right? Don't yeah, so believe. pops the Gam Seal. And now Azaj is in a really good spot. It's like, yeah, that's my Gamma Seal. 
I feel like Azad could have done this differently though, to where he had the the dragon in his main monster zone, or in yeah, in his main monster zone instead of the extra monster zone. So that way he can do plays next turn without overlaying with the dragon. Right. But uh oh. Trey scooping. Oh, he's scooping. He's scooping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Trey scooping. All right, cool. So Azad takes game one. Yeah. I don't know if even Azad knew if he was skipping here or not at first. Yeah, That's I was like, why is Azad not doing anything? Yeah. Alright, so while we're Oh, what up, Keen? What's up, bro? How you doing? What's <laughs> up? So? so what happened in your match, Blake? What? What happened in your match? Um, should have searched a web tail, searched a rat, got punished, lost. <laughs> You got a hell of a lucky with that, uh, with that cyclone, though. Lucky Hitting the barrier. Two of every card that serves the same function. I know. 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 I so you drew a monster after that? Yeah. It was God with Jesus. Jeez. Our SA players are resolving their sideboarding here. So there's a quick power shuffle. So like, Zod's deck is basically already built for going second, so it makes sense that he doesn't have a, lot, a ton of going second cards. Hey guys, I'm gonna pop off for a bit, but I'm sure you just can take care of you for a while. Yeah. Cool. I got you. So we got Keaton here also, another Texas native. Hey, what's up? If you're outside of Texas, you probably don't know me. But if you're in Texas, you oh yeah, you can look probably know me a little bit. Yeah, like, you can just uh, look online. YouTube videos mainly like deck profiles. Doesn't matter. Uh, I, I'm I'm flashing them anyways. So um. So yeah, Trey just basically took out all of his um, Ignises, put in the Majesty and the Dynamite. You know, the usual. He has, like, Warning and Imperial Order in his deck. Um, so yeah, Trey's also going first this game. I think, I think I see a Barrier in his hand, Thoroughblade. 
barrage desires. Whoa, this hand is nuts. <laughs> That's a fact. Okay. And he has Ghost Ogre. Okay. So we're still summoning a zoo. He has desires too, right? Yeah. Yeah, he has desires too. Is he playing three? Yeah, he's playing. I think he's playing three. I know his odd is. That's all. Right, but no, he's playing two. Oh, two playing desires. Two. Okay. Okay, so Azad apparently has a good hand too. <laughs> this man didn't banish any rats, what a god. He banished Ram, he banished Ram and Whiptail though, yeah. which is kind of... And I think like two of the field spell. Yeah, that's that's kind of unfortunate. But he has Masterpiece, Tribute, <coughs> and Barrier. I really... Oh, it was like, real swift stuff. <laughs> like, he's like, attach turn, discard the Greninja, or reload this my hand and swipe someone right under his side, bitch. Like, damn, you're on fucking uh, camera. This is why I don't play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It looked on purpose to me, but I don't know about Pokemon, so I mean. Like, I don't know if that's something that can happen on Axe or not. It, it's, no, it's not something how you just, it's like, oh, I forgot I already attached that. That was literally what you did two, two, two. You did that two things ago. Okay, so. Oh, well, I mean, that's standard. We've had normal stuff. So, Trey basically has the choice of doing either um, Hammer Kong, Floating Rat, and Dryden, or he can make Mrs. Dryden. It's probably making Mrs. Um, whoa, didn't he normal rat? Yeah, he normal rat. Wait, Hold what? on, he, he normal rat. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. There we go. <laughs> what were we just talking about? <laughs> God damn it, that's why I don't play Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> Like we, were, we were talking about extra energy attaches to Pokemon and how it's the same as normal summons, and now we got it here. <laughs> Weird. Whoa, okay. Yeah, so, he, so he's just going to bring back anything and make misses, right? Probably. I hope that's happening. No, Zod does not play PNSMO. No, Zod plays My Body as a Shield. Correct. Two. Yeah. They're on the sideboard though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the list over here. Do you copy? Uh oh right, you're still in the event. Yeah yeah yeah. Sure, I I would rather not hand it to you, just in case Austin's gonna be weird. Yeah, look look at it online. Look yeah, look at look at it online. Look at it online. Oh this is not correct. This no, whoa. Wait, what? No, this is not right. I guess he's, yeah, he's I, just I think he's dropping Masterpiece. Masterpiece now. I don't think that's right, because yeah, he knows Azad has Kaijus in his deck. I think he's just saying, I hope you don't have it. Or better have it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, he's setting Barrier, barrier too. So, yeah, that was in the same field. But, like, it would have been the same thing. You just would have had Dryden Barrier, which is, like, enough. Oh, Azad just doesn't have Gamsio. Okay. Just Game time, three. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. No, but Azad has like a ways to get there. He has barrage. He. Oh wait, no. What's the barrage I feel like Azad can still out masterpiece. Oh god. You're wild, damn, bro. He did not just do that. He's disrespecting. What? Him. <laughs> god, this is wild. Okay, Kitty has a favorite. What? He did not just pop tanky. <laughs> <laughs> That's like rule number one. Oh, like, really rule number one is just like don't pop tanky unless it's like their top deck. Exactly. What the heck? What I is mean, happening? Maybe, maybe he was playing around the my body. <laughs> no, because they should be sideboard out. Absolutely. Yeah, my body shouldn't be in the Zod's deck right now. This is wild. Also, like if you're or if anything, you're sideboarding out to two, and if they don't have Gamma Seal. They probably you're also playing on not having my body. Well, like, I what? mean. On the plus side for Trey, he can't get thoroughbladed right now. That's true. <laughs> Another plus side for Trey. Give me a sec. He gets, he gets me memed. Memes are nice. Uh, I'm, uh, oh, he drew Apocalypse. That's neat. <sighs> Welcome to ARG, guys. Welcome to, quote unquote, the, be the best event quality wise. Man. This is. Neat. Rat a tat tata. 
you know, despite all this, I'm pretty sure Trey's winning this game. I wish you were in top five because I would have been like, but well, he's in top eight. <laughs> <laughs> Like she's like, whose man is this? <laughs> Alright, here's that barrage that should have been popped. There's no reason to pop this barrage. Why? Why are we popping? Okay. <laughs> it worked. Uh, what? Uh, triggered. <laughs> Did you who won the game? He, yeah, he Trey won the game. <laughs> oh my Trey, you played so you played like decent last game. What's happening? Trey's playing on like another dimension from us. Oh, We're playing in twenty seventeen, really well. he's playing in twenty twenty seven. You know what? I'm already Facebook famous, but I haven't heard anyone say my name in a while. God dang. Sadly <laughs> that's probably exactly what it is. Like <laughs> how's it? Win hard or meme hard. There's no loot. Okay. If he loses, he can't come home. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that one. So, this is where Azad's deck actually just wins. He has a pointers going first. He has a pure order. Barrier. Um, I don't think he put in barrier. I don't, I don't know if he puts in barrier against this matchup, like, at all. I don't think you do. I think you just go with the red Well, he might put in barrier just because it stops everything zoo-related for the turn. How many Ghost Ogres oh. is... How many Ghost Ogres is Trey Ghost Ogres? I don't... Oh, he sides a... He sides two more. Oh, he sides two. So... I mean, that's probably Maybe going in. you bring back my bodies? No. I mean, the, I mean, he can. The only... I guess it's... Yeah, I could see that. He I guess it's Zod cares about the board the wipes. I think over the universe, I feel like you just kind of jam. I yeah. guess it's Zod cares about the board wipes. So, yeah. Yeah. Um... What? I mean, I, I, I also, like, know, like, the least about this format, because mm. I literally have not played this format at all. Uh, Trey has three kaijus. I don't know if he's going to put those in. He might. Um, he has two board wipes, three cosmics... Um, I'll bring it back out so you can set Pokemon. Yeah, those are the cards I see going second for Trey, possibly putting in. Um, Azad clearly doesn't have like anti spell or deflector, um, which is kind of crazy. I um, that he doesn't side like magic deflector. Neither of these players actually side magic deflector. Really? No. <laughs> Um, that card is barrier for Draco cards. <laughs> if I ever drew it, I, w I would have an opinion on it, but I never draw that card. Huh? Boy! <laughs> I'm sorry, my opponents were so happy. I'm sorry, my opponents were like mere for it. Deuce is uh, apologizing to Blake for things. Correct. Is he still in top cut? I know you don't either. Oh, uh, weird. See it. Didn't see that coming. I'm trying to like wrap this game and make a PMR sandwich. Hungry, yeah. Something godly. Dude, I'm just trying to make sure, like, I'm getting, like, the right nutrients right now. Because yesterday I was, like, super sick because I was, like, malnutrition. Right? Yeah. Oh, there I got you. Yeah, this man Deuce is dying. Went back to the hotel early, everything. I jammed, I jammed at one of these Pokemon Wars as I got out of here. Yo. Alright, I got a quick story to tell. Go okay. for it. We got so time. <laughs> this is <worded. laughs> Okay, so I've never wanted to die more in my life, okay? So we were walking back from the event. Right. We, like, left a bit early, like, before the last round. We go to Wendy's. I get a four for four. I'm hella happy, right? Because I didn't eat all day. Right, yeah. And then I'm walking home. It starts to rain. Like, like we're walking to the hotel. It starts what? to rain. And then, like, as we're crossing the street after we waited for the light, this thing, like, it starts pouring. <laughs> like, actually, we're in the shower right now. <laughs> like, we just turned it full blast. <laughs> we're on the shower. And then... <laughs> And then I start running because I'm like, I want my food and I don't want my cards to get wet. And then like halfway, like we're almost to the hotel and then my my bag breaks. And I'm like, bruh, like my food is <laughs> all over there. I am so pissed. I just, start, I just start with my head down and walk all the way back. Yo, oh I was my so mad. God. I, I went hungry for a while. Yo, Fish <laughs> just like stumbled down and was like, nah. You yeah. know, they could have thought about it and they could have put the food in like their backpacks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, we thought about it after, but it was way too late. <laughs> Oh, and then and then QB's his uh our, our other friend his, his bag because he was carrying deuces too because he yeah. was already in the room. Yeah. He, both of his bags broke, too. <laughs> like right outside the door <laughs> to the hotel. Yeah, for real. Oh, so bad. I, my nuggets survived somehow, so that's yeah. good. That's all we the needed. Nuggets always get there. 
No, I don't I know why, mm. but I was really craving some Chick Fil A nugs. Cause like oh Chick Fil A nug game is strong, but like, I really don't like Chick Fil A otherwise. To be honest, I like Chick Fil A. It, it's fine. Like I said, like, it's just not my go-to. Today is also Sunday, so I don't like Chick Fil A right, right whenever, now. Whenever it's Sunday, <laughs> whenever it's Sunday is when I have a random craving for Chick Fil A. Exactly. Like, Why? Exactly. I feel like every day I hear some comment about Chick Fil A, or every Sunday it's just like something about Chick Fil A will ARG, pop up. ARG Atlanta, there was a Chick Fil A open on Sunday. That's wild. I don't. I know. It's like this is Atlanta. What? How is it open in the South on Sunday? Like that's crazy. Ooh, that's crazy. I was super confused. Yeah, like 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 Machado just comes back with Chick Fil A, and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> For real. I mean, like, I'm glad you brought me Chick Fil A Machado, but like, how'd you do this? They broke in. It's also Machado. True. True. <laughs> they just showed him his ID, and they're like, "Here, take this." Oh, you're the you you, you are, are the, the you are Pro Play Games. Oh God. man. <laughs> yeah, we'll give you that quick shout out. <laughs> we're saying yesterday we get like a we, try, we probably get like a Skippy's peanut butter sponsor here. <laughs> if, we, if we really try. What happened, to Aaron? Oh, how's Aaron doing? Yeah. All right, bye. Yeah, thanks, Avery. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of people in the chat going, let's go, Nugs. Team Nugs in the chat. Oh, yeah, we got Rap Barrage. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, my God. He has God, double a pointer? He has double? No, oh, it's combo. combo. Oh, combo. Oh, oh, he has Rap Barrage, Thoroughly. Yeah, he, he's going he's gonna to dig right now. Oh, he has Maxi, though. His uh, hand is lit. Oh, he Facts. does. Oh, wait. Trey does. What? Trey? God, please, oh. bro. Please. Trey. Please. Oh, 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 Call security on the Trey. Oh, and he's a Do you just maxi on Thoroughblade summon? <laughs> Trey. Yo, he's being thorough about this. <laughs> does, what? Does the Zod even do anything anymore? He opened a no. Kaiju. No. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. This is wild. He's going to ruin this man's day. No, I don't think he, I don't think Trey has desires. I think is isn't that Tanky? Tanky, this Tanky. Yeah. I think it was like Tanky masterpiece Thoroughblade and the return. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I saw a masterpiece. Either. I saw a Tanky Zoo. I only saw it. And like return. I don't know what the fourth card is. Okay, there's a rat, I think, as a zoo. Maybe okay, it's so it's Tinky Rat Trap Card. I don't know what the other card is. That's another trap Apocalypse. card. Apocalypse, yeah. Wait, did, did not, train? Wait, what? Oh, oh no, 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 no. He's drawing off Maxi. Oh, okay. Sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this man just not set his cards. I was like, what's going on? Just set a pointer pass. Oh, that's nuts. Oh uh, yeah, so we're pointering we're now. This man's day. All right, so we're about to see the whole thing. <laughs> so, here's so a gamma seal. If I'm a Zod, I'm probably hitting the oh, diagram. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, he doesn't have Maxi. Yeah, okay. Gonna be I'm probably hitting the diagram. Yeah, it seems pretty yeah, heads up. Yeah. I'm definitely hitting diagram. Oh, both players have to reveal their hands for a pointer? I didn't yeah, know Yeah, you actually reveal yours first. Oh, okay. And then your opponent loses theirs. Yeah, definitely diagram. Because yeah, Dryden just handles everything else on board now. Yeah, because Dryden will just... I mean, he's he's going to tank you for Thoroughblade. Yeah. That that's what honest. I think that's what his odds thinking about too, because that thing that that definitely makes things scary. But the only card he can realistically hit is diagram. Dude, people people in the chat who have been out of competitive play want to know why Lotus is so good all of a sudden. Oh, so a point of the red lotus is good, huh? <laughs> okay, so a point of the red lotus is good um, because uh, trap dust shoot is banned. <laughs> so it's the second boost. Um, second so um, I mean, if I didn't, I mean, there's no reason not to want to activate trap dust shoot. So it's the same thing. Is that his normal summon drive? But what, why now? Instead oh, why like, why like now? Like there wasn't Necro Um, like, because like this whole format is like designed <laughs> as like, like a push format. Be over like in one so, of the um, anyway. So, so by like the time it, they get it back, it's usually yeah. over. So if you can look at their hand and see how many like see how many stops you have, how many pushes they have realistically, and be able to stop according to their pushes, um, you. You can technically either say, I'm going to outright win the game now, or I'm going to have to try and see how they play out their hand. 
essentially. Mm -hmm. But you know everything that could possibly happen to you, which is good. So right now Trey has to draw like barrage or something. Um yeah, Trey has diagram. Trey has yeah. to draw a Draco monster at the least. Nope, that no, was, that was that, that Yeah, but good thing for Trey, he has two Draco traps and Heritage. Um so he can technically stop something. But yeah, um, a point of the Red Lotus is just really, really, really good right now um, because of the fact one games don't last too long, just turns last a long time, um, and the card is designed as a turn card. Um, but yeah, the fact that you can look at your opponent's hands, see how many pushes they have, how many stops you have, and compare the two, um, just makes your gameplay a lot easier. Oh god, dang. Um, and revealing your hand doesn't make a huge difference because um, you need to set your hand before that, or you or your hands just didn't matter anyways. It was just already good enough. I mean, Azad could decide to set the barrage prior, but you don't really want to set bluffs against the against the Draco deck because they just get heritaged. Um, so yeah. This cyclone's gonna be sweet. Azad knows that Trey has a apocalypse, right? Yeah, Azad knows that Trey has. Okay, so he's definitely that holding that cyclone. cyclone. Got him. Oh, he, he's like gonna play like a virtual beast, I think. That's all he's done, though, right? I I know. I think Blake has has been known for putting the whoop on Drew Carter. That's all I know. I, mean, I, think that's <laughs> I don't. I don't think it's reserved to Blake alone. Got him. <laughs> it's like my favorite pastime. Nah, and Chris, and <laughs> I won O versus Blake though. That's all that matters. <laughs> and then I went O three after that. Blake just gave me a curse. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely shouting out Jafar. Okay. So what happened, Aaron? Okay, so um, Avery. Azad drawing the cosmic just made this whole game easier. Oh, we lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does Azad not use Rodwell? Uh, no. Oh, that's okay. That's, that's a good point that Blake brought up. So, so whenever people make, um, wait, why is playing? Oh, just in case he drew off the one third yeah, away draw. Right, right. So whenever people make Broadbull, usually people wait for Broadbull to activate the effect, then they'll barrier. But say if you're playing around barrier in that sense, you play Broadbull first. Um, they'll t do the normal and wait, um, and they just right away stack Dryden so you have an additional material under it. So that's y the two exits you usually make to um, to play around barrier before is Broadbull and Chalkanine because pe because those are usually useful Zodiac effects. I think it's pretty heads up because he only did see two set cards. Mm -hmm. one set through, so yeah, it's, that, that's definitely a good he heads up play by Azad. Um, so Azad's second getting a second um, second combo in Grave. Oh, yeah. that, the second combo also lines up really well with adding next one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a way Azad loses this game. I think he's just gonna get Thoroughblade and try and dig. That seems pretty good. Yeah, because he, he's not, he's not doing any other extra deck plays because his Dryden's locked in the extra deck monster zone. So I don't, he's, he's definitely not sacrificing that. Got any. It's actually the casting couch. The, the yeah. casting couch. Thank you very much. So it was good, dude. Like Albany's casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> Void of Mike Albany's somehow. Oh my god. Is he even here? Did he even show up yet? I don't know where Mike is. He's been getting roasted all weekend because of his shoes. Really? Yeah, it's not fair. I didn't really look at oh, what's that dude's name that was roasting him? Raleigh. Or oh, Rolling. Rolling. Okay, that dude is hilarious. <laughs> he had me dying.
this is unfortunate for Trey because he's going to get um, Cosmic. Yeah. You Cosmic the, the Return, right? No, you Cosmic the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse, so it doesn't resolve, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But as y'all now can see, a pointer sh showing your own hand doesn't really have a huge effect because Azad next turn drew Desires, got him to see now two unknown cards, Thoroughblade, another unknown card. So he just has a lot of unknowns in his hand. Yeah. Um, that made it where it didn't matter. Azad's probably thinking about whether or not to even use the Cosmic because, so like if the Apocalypse pops a return, Return pops his Dryden. He can actually just make Chalkanine and then Chalkanine bring back the Dryden and then Tiger Mort the Dryden. I mean, at that point, I'd be afraid of Barrier, too. I mean, yeah, I'd be afraid of Barrier. So. But it's definitely. I don't know if Azad's thinking right now or if Trey's thinking. Um, Pretty sure it's Azad. Because he, he might be trying to play around Barrier, like you, like you said. Yeah, so I don't think Azad's playing around Barrier anymore. I wouldn't. I think he's just holding the Cosmic. Um, so wait, when does the diagram go back to his hand? Uh, the end of Trey's next turn. The end of Trey's next turn? Okay. Alright. Got it. The uh, pointer of the Red Lotus? The end of Scarlet Diagram will actually be relevant in four turns. Yeah, so Azad's going to do... Um, what I said prior, he's probably gonna make Chalk Nine. Chalk Nine bring back the Dryden. It's either Rat or Whip. Um, yeah. oh, I don't know why he's making the Borbo. Does he need another material to make Hammer Kong over it? That might be the why. Yeah, so he's gonna make Chalk Nine. No, it's like a Heritage, pretty sure. Ooh, my man Avery with that jacket. Hey. Yo, what is this? That jacket's like this? two mm. sizes too big. Oh my god. How much gosh. you pay for that? Take them all crooks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kamal's. Is it really? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's like three sizes too big. Facts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is. This odds way too far ahead. Yeah. I think that was a good play by Azad. Like, yes, he fell into Barrier, mm -hmm. but... Like, at that know. point, if he had it, like, I still don't really think it mattered. You've also got to think about the way Trey's been playing. So, like, Trey's been shotgunning his Barriers on the yeah. first zoo he's been seeing. Exactly. So... So he probably would have done it on, like, the Summon of Broadbull like, or something. Yeah, yeah, he probably would have done it on the Broadbull Summon, even though, like, most players are waiting for the effect to activate. Mm -hmm. He drew Whiptail... Um, so I was probably going to make Hammer Kong over the Tiger Mortar now. Did, did Aaron win or lose? Aaron lost. Okay. Yeah, so that's the Cosmic. So now, um, yeah, so Zod keeping the Cosmic makes it where even if, um, Trey rips another diagram, he's still good. Wow, Trey's not drawing any Draco monsters, which is really unfortunate. Yeah. Like, if Trey just hard drew a Draco monster, it would have made his game so much easier. But, um, I don't see a way Trey wins this game now, because he hasn't seen any Draco monster. Um, but also Trey hasn't taken that much damage, so he might, if he wanted to, he might be able to live next turn. Oh, is that actually a real draw card right now? I don't think so. There's no way he has three. Yeah, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, he's using Apocalypse again. Oh. Ah. <sighs> okay, so like, if Trey wanted to do that, 
I think I would have. Oh well, I see what Trey's trying. To, but there's no way that's happening. It's it's gonna get cosmic. I guess I guess Trey wanted to Trey wanted to resolve a heritage because his other set's heritage, so he wanted to draw a card off that. I mean, he also didn't know the set was I caught, so. But I mean, Trey also didn't know that the the cosmic was there. True. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. This whole game's just done. Yeah. I think Trey might just still. Whoa. No, I probably wouldn't have summoned anything. I think I would just pass turn. I think I just would have passed turn. Yeah. You, you have to. You, if I was in Trey's position, I would just pass turn, hope I didn't die. Next turn, I get diagram back, um, and then hope I can do something. But. Now I think Trey just put himself completely out of the game unless he draws another zoo. As I drew another desires, which is huge. God damn. Um there's no way um there's no way Azad should shouldn't kill him though. Yeah, he's got like two thoroughblades in grief. Yeah. I think if I was a Zod, I would know this. I, I think I would infer the sets like a heritage. Or, I mean, no, yeah, I'd assume it was heritage. I don't think there's any other card you could really assume it would be. Because it wasn't barrier, because we would gotten barrier last turn. So, yeah. Um, Zod should just kill him. <sighs> yep. Should be that link. After you do the other things, he still has a barrage face up. Yeah. No, there, there. He he stopped playing around barrier last turn, so. Is that also a second combo in yard to reload his extra deck? Mhm. I think yes. Did you say mirror force? I'm so triggered. Stop. No, I. You understand? I lost a mirror force in Swiss. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm salty. Also on stream. What? Uh, mine? No, 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 but like the Mirror Force. Oh, the Mirror Force is on stream? Yeah, he's playing Blackhorn on the side, right? Some guy? Uh, I guess so. I do not play traps. No. Does I just need the material for his combo? Yeah. Wait, is Zod going for game or is he just going for raw advantage? Why not both? I think both are, are good picks. I don't yeah. I don't think he's maybe you try to you know, flex with desires like Trey did. How many Woodtails does Azad have in his hand? Does two. he just have one or two? He yeah, has two? two yeah. Is he even another in his deck? Uh I don't know. He added a ram, I know that. So maybe he'll, like pop it with uh barrage. Does he have ram in his grave? Uh no. No? Okay. Well, like, he added it. Like, oh, he added Ram. Yeah. So he's probably going to get Thoroughblade. Yeah, he's going to barrage itself, get Thoroughblade, probably pitch the Ram. Yeah. So he can have the Ram for the for the Whiptail. For the Whiptail play. Yeah. So, and then he can just chalk and nine back the, the Ram. I think he's already used that Dryden that's on the field, but you just make another Dryden on top of the Chalk and after he does it. Draws another Tenki. Oh, God. I, I don't know if he has another Whiptail on his deck. No, he has Rat. Yeah, so he chalk nines back the ram, I believe. I don't know if he's going for the... I mean, he probably can just chalk nine back Thoroughblade and it's still game. I don't think he's normal summoned either. So he can still normal summon whip. Yeah, that's like... This is like absolutely Oh my game. god, he lives! Oh, Mike showed up. He exists. Oh, we made the joke. Here, you want to take this? Uh, yeah. he oh! Wins the duel if he goes. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. 
Yo, I'll take this. That was mine. Alvin. You're top Alvin. four. Alvin, cheese. Yeah, actually, you three. I mean, I don't want to say that on here, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the game's essentially over. No, the game's done. Yeah, so the turn... I don't know how many turns... It's. I'm, I literally hear myself in my pocket. So the turn where Azad goes, like, Broad Bull Dryden, mm -hmm. and then, like, does, like, the Thoroughblade Rat, and then pops some Thoroughblade, if Trey just holds both traps the whole turn... Because Azad knows his hand, so if Azad sets Cyclone, Trey goes end phase, pop, pop, kill Dryden, the game's over. He wins. Because mm -hmm. he has a zoo monster against no Dryden, no back row, no hand traps. If he doesn't set Cyclone, he goes draw, then pop, 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 pop heritage, draw, summon rat, the game's over. Yeah. Just want to put, put that out there. Oh, well, didn't even think about that. Well, yeah. I was yeah. screaming in the car. That's, that's how I just wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> the, game was just, the game was just over. I mean, yeah. that doesn't like it's matter. Yeah, like, as I would had, as I had like two Drydens instead of no cards. And then, and then, if that happens, like he 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 could have. Does Trey have a, has Trey made Dryden this game yet? No. Okay, so he like he has his draw for turn, his draw for heritage, a Broadbull search, Dryden pop. So he has to game to seal him. So if he draws a trap or a diagram, he wins. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, or a tribute. Yeah, no, absolutely. He just need anything. Yeah, game one. I mean, Azad should have won this match. Like, would game one was way closer than it had to be. Also, like it was yeah. crazy. Actually, when I, I like, turned it off, I'm like, chasing this game. I don't know how. Like, he shouldn't have been. Oh wait, Trey lived. There's no way Trey I mean, lived. Azad didn't pop Ram Ram. Yeah. Look, notice the dry the dry was Chalk and Iron. No, that that Dryden that Dryden was not Chalk and Iron. No, that Dryden was not Chalk and Iron. Tilt to attack mode. Barrier just in time. Attack, attack, pop, whip tail, attack. Twenty four hundred more. Yeah. Twenty eight hundred more. There were two tankies. <laughs> Good luck, Arnold. Please do. Arnold's just some random. You're like the only one in the top four that's not the last yes.